Hello sports fan, this is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com and I'm bringing you a very special week four breakdown of the Rams taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. But before I get right into that, I want to make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right now so you can get all the updates, all the hottest videos from JustMyPicks.com and you can join the debate. Without any further ado, we're hopping right into the week four matchup between the Rams taking on the Cardinals. Now, the Rams, as you see, are struggling. <clears throat> last couple of weeks we've seen them go down to uh, opponents they could have possibly beat after uh, injuring Big Ben Roethlisberger in that game against the Pittsburgh Steelers they could not seal the deal I know that Michael Vick fumbled the ball a couple of times you look at what they were able to do on defense and not really let the Steelers blow the game open now when you're looking at the offense of the Rams the Rams are obviously not on the same page each and every week you know sometimes they can put out great outputs but when it comes to this football game, you have to keep in mind you're playing the Arizona Cardinals. Bruce Arians has this team dialed in. Offensively, defensively, both of these teams are not equal. You're looking at the St. Louis Cardinals, I mean the St. Louis Rams, excuse me, offense stuttering, stopping, stuttering, stopping. They may have a few good series here and there, but the, uh, but the Arizona Cardinals are on fire. You look at exactly what they have as far as the three-headed running back uh, by committee. You're looking at Carson Palmer being able to get the ball and spread it throughout several different wide receivers, in including the best wide receiver that they have on their team, Mr. Larry Fitzgerald, who is playing like he has Kurt Warner back there and Anquan Bolden on the side of him like he did in his glory days. You're looking at this defense and how it's stepping up. Tyron Matthew in those corners and, and, and Patrick Peterson on special teams. You're looking at so many things that these that this Cardinals team is doing. They're mimicking, if you will, the, the defense of the Seattle Seahawks. You're looking at how they have the big pop potential of the safeties. Patrick Peterson can line up anywhere on the field against any wide receiver at any point in time and hold his own. You're looking at Tyron Matthew, him being a ball hawking safety and him being able to come up on the line of scrimmage and also being able to provide a little run stopping help. So the Arizona Cardinals are shaping to be a great football team. You look at that offensive line coming into its own. You look at the defensive line getting pass rush, getting a uh, 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 just a plethora of things that make the quarterback uncomfortable and how they're able to get to the quarterback quickly so they can get those turnovers. So they can do a lot of other things on the football field and not to mention, not fail to mention, the special team. So it's so many different things that's going on and I'm looking forward to this football game because the Arizona Cardinals are going to win this football game. It's going to be a very tight football game, but I think the Cardinals will blow it open late and I'm, I'm picking the Cardinals to win because I have faith in them. Bruce Arians has turned this thing around, even losing Todd Bowles. You thought that they were going to take a step back defensively. They're, they're looking like the best team in football on offense, defense, and special teams. I'm predicting once again the Cardinals to win this football game against the St. Louis Rams. All you Cardinals Cardinals fans or your Rams fans, please leave your comments in the comment section below so we can debate with you this week on this big matchup. Also, check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news, all the updates, all the great videos so you can debate with us here on YouTube. All right, check us out next week. Please don't forget to share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you and your Facebook friends each and every week. Thank you so very much, and we'll see you next week for week five.